What's up guys, I recorded the World Cup Finals but my files got corrupted so here's a replay where I popped off. The second part of the vid is a Haiku Arena game. Hope you enjoy boys. Ooh, somebody else decided, hey, this is my time to shine. I think it was maybe Mitro Romaro there right behind him. Well, it's not the team you want to back up into on accident. But now I'm taking a look at the other side. He has Vex and Skill who's pressuring down Mangra Mitro <laughs> who gets... Knocked right there. Zol gets a knock. That's so. hilarious. The, they just backed into Mongrel and Mitro, and as soon as Mongrel and Mitro started taking shots, they get focused from all the different angles. Yeah, Skillico yeah. and Vexir managed to turn the pressure on him, and then Alk and his duo put the pressure back on yep. them, so they ended up in an unconventional pinch there, and Mitro gets taken out. So Mongrel now left for himself. Empire lands on some loot right there. It's going to be a nice Ooh. little come up. But Skillico hits Empire with the hand cannon from downrange. It was just a body shot, but it puts him right down right away. Moving on, we see Hiko. We saw him in the earlier games of a flawless victory. That first one, now Margo and Mitro, we know they've qualified, but we know what a show they can put on. They've already got 10 eliminations in this game, and it's, it's just moving to the end game, so that's crazy impressive. Some sort of W King going on in the mid game, finally taking out AIM on the side of the zone. Make sure he can't get in and then continuing to pressure it, not stopping. And he also caught Artie's course right there. So amongst that little hiccup right there, guys, a few players went down. Aim is main, being one of them as well. Mongro now rotating across to the zone. He says not today, he's got plenty of rotation. He can be ahead of the zone here, but he is by himself. He has to be very wary of becoming a target, but he doesn't matter, he gets ahead. It's Skillco goes down, catching a little bit of vengeance there for Mitro. They did put the pressure on them earlier today. So another Shadow Bomb comes out, edit his main, and off he goes. Six of these things, he's using them to conserve material. Jumps on the next layer. Yeah. Falls down now. Mongrel knows the dangerousness of going for the Shadow Bomb plays next to him as he picks on a Quexo. Jeez, the He is offense. so quick. Every single time he makes a play, instantly onto the next thing. Instantly blocking the angles that he needs to. We'll go ahead and pick up that rare drum gun, switch it out, and it's, continue it's, forward. It's actually incredible to think that there's this insane mechanical scaling and uh, the me mechanical ceiling, and once you pass it, there's only a few players who can hold their own and take on teams. People like Mongrel just has the skill, can survive in these end games and make huge plays. You know, every single time he gets ahead of the zone and then picks one off, every single time stop. he boxes, he finds somebody that's just raw aim, just like you said, every single time. Not only the tactical positioning to make sure he's in the position to grab one of those elims, but hitting his shots, he does not miss. Zypin goes down, and he already picked up, no, Ritz is above him. Be this is a stat game, Beehive Ritz, Aqua, who's qualified as well. That's right. They move this over this hill. Going up a mountain here. Mongrel has one Shadow Bomb left. Nebi goes down just as he's rotating out through the side here. Mongrel is putting pressure up. He's going to go right through, but gets picked with a nice shot right there. The Storm is just chewing away now as he needs to catch an elimination here to put him back in the game. Here comes the minis being popped. Lucky for him, he does find a little opportunity. Can he get another one right there? Doesn't quite get it, but the wall was his. In the box Jeez. he goes, trap goes down, holds the wall, just know where you're going, Zol. And that's another vengeance play on Zol because Zol was the one that finished off Mistro, so Mongo's tearing it up right now. As he approaches 10 eliminations, six players remain, or six duos remain. There's only one full team left. Everyone else is solos as Mongo's just putting Quick work to the end of the lobby here. And there's the heavy sniper comes out. He's going to go right on top of this player, but make his way through. Oh. It's the wall in the trap. I don't think it connects, but that would have been ridiculous. And then the close range shots with the combat shot and going to take out Orange. And now only three players remaining. Oh, it's a full duo. Marvel's clutching up 1v2 right now. Can he do it? One player. Oh, they're no both mass. down. No he mass. goes out of the zone. He's going to get the shot. Good shot on oh. to Neyu. And that finish. Go. Can he do it? One more shot, I believe, will do it. Finishes him for the siphon. And then gotta finish this player right here. He's hiding in the corner, probably popping a small shield right now. Mongrel looking for him, hunting on the top of the zone right in the front. Can you do it? Good awareness that he went in the zone in the finish. Mongrel with the 1v2 clutch. 14 eliminations. He's gonna say, Mitro, I got this. Incredible end game for Mongrel, picking up a big 14 piece. Mitro with a fifth, with five. Golden Boy, what you got for us on that one? I mean, clearly, I don't got what Mongrel's got. The kid's got talent. It's crazy. Very, very uh, strong performance there from Mongrel from Europe once again. Uh, Golden Boy here with Sundown. And your, your thoughts on that one, bud? 
I mean, talent might be an understatement. I mean, mongrel, mongoloid, monogram, monopoly, whatever you want to call him, however you pronounce, however you spell his name, he's up there. He's out there. He's doing everything. I mean, he tweeted at me literally right after. He does this every time he pops off. He says, I'm nuts. I'm the best. He certainly hasn't disappointed. We saw it two weeks ago when he was running out there, now doing it with the new combat shotgun in Season 9. That was one of the sickest runs we've seen. It was 1v2 the entire way by Secrets Mongrel, a player who has already qualified the Young Lord from Britain, putting it out there. But I mean, let's check out some of the replays and some of the game. This one's for you. My IQ is so high, I done that launch pad on purpose to that map so I could go like this, go behind him, like how is my IQ this high? Oh, oh my god, this kid is hacking or some shit bro, what is on console? There's no way he's still in here, are you? Oh god, he's holding every edit. I hear so many sounds. There you go.
Yes, I like these low W's, boys. Keep them up. Keep them f***ing up. Oh my f*** me. Right hand peak. Was that it? Do a right hand peek. What are you gonna do? Nothing, cause I got the advantage, boy. What the f is this f you doing? Thank you for the bloom. Mm, thank you for the bloom. Damage does so much damage. The damage does so much damage. The shotgun does so much damage, long range. Restart. No! Nice! 